I would have never thought in a million years that I would find prices that cheap. We got ourselves a framed puzzle here. That's nice. Oh, wow. Solid frame. How much is that? $8. That's cool. If you see a book you like, you can grab a book. Oh, yeah? Right here. Ooh. Got a pretty good selection. Let me see. We have a panorama here. Milton Bradley, 750 pieces. That was over three feet wide. That's pretty. Puzzles are two for a dollar. Oh, snap. Let's see what we can find. Great outdoors. Masterpieces. That's a pretty log cabin. Oh, one piece missing. Well, that's helpful. One piece is not bad for a used puzzle. Let's see. What's this? CreateJigsawPuzzles.com. It's a bunch of candy. Looks like we got some really old ones here, too. What's this one? Ooh, that's pretty. 304 pieces. This is a Whitman puzzle. Oh, that's a beaten up box. This is a Seiko puzzle. That one looks fun. We have another Seiko here, a Christmas puzzle. This looks like an older one as well. That's really cool. Wow, some of these boxes are so beaten up. You can tell these are pretty old. What's this one here? We have another Milton Bradley puzzle. Oh, look, we have one of these art books ones that you get from Dollar Tree. What else do we have? This brand. I think I got one of this style from Dollar General. 50 cents is not bad though for that. What else do we have? What's this? Oh, that's pretty. This is a Sherlock puzzle. That's a Dollar General tag. So at 50 cents, that's not bad. This is a super old Dollar General tag. Look at that. One dollar. We have a Rose Art brand here. That's really nice. Snowy scenery. 500 pieces. And more Milton Bradley ones here. That one. I'm trying to show you these puzzles to you guys without making a huge mess here. I don't want to make a mess of the store that we have. That's beautiful. This is uh, from Guild Puzzles, 500 pieces. And pretty much more of kind of like the same. These are just like flowery puzzles. Those are the same. We have another one of these Guild Puzzles. That looks nice. Got some more. These are lovely. Now there's quite a few puzzle pieces scattered about. So you know what? We'll put those here. We have more Milton Bradley here. Oh, look at this. Seasons of Change. This box is in pretty good shape. This is a glow-in-the-dark puzzle, and this is 1,000 pieces. Oh, look at that house. That's totally my house. Is that glow-in-the-dark? Yeah. It says 199 here, but I think it says here the puzzles are two for one, so this is probably 50 cents. What does it look like inside? That's a pretty good chance of missing pieces, but I don't know. Oh, this is bits and pieces. I don't have that. You know what? This might be, it would probably be in the maybe. $100,000 puzzle. What is this? Piece together the golden jigsaw puzzle. Break its mysterious code and win $100,000. Um, I feel like that would not actually happen if we could get it, but I don't know. Is that true? I could use the money. Oh, this is from 1984. It tells me that would not work out the way I would hope. Anyways, oh, look at this 2,000 piece puzzle. Cool. That's so cool. What does it look like inside? Oh my god. My, uh, see, these kind of things make me nervous. Hey, you're not supposed to open it. It's, uh, it's not even sealed. That is cool. I mean, 50 cents is really not bad. And this box is in fantastic shape, but you just don't know, right? I mean, 50 cents, I won't be too mad if I'm missing pieces. But you know what? This is going in the baby pile. And it's Buffalo Games, so I know it's going to be good stuff. 
Let's see what else we have here. Oh, Lavira. Isn't that the brand of my, my puzzle table? This is 1,000 pieces. This is interesting. Oh, I like that it's taped up too. That is beautiful. Look at that scenery. This is so cool. It's sealed up nice, and I think we might have some good luck with this one here. So you know what? This is going in the maybe pile. Oh, wow, this is super cute. Look at these little cats. Though I have to be honest, I mean, judging by this image here, I'd be kind of worried if my food will have cat hair in it. But cute image. We have a Big Ben puzzle here, 1,000 pieces. What is it? A Can You Find It 1,000 puzzle piece set. Joan Steiner. Can you find the dollar bill? Oh, this is a Seiko puzzle. Oh my god, this is so old. Though. This is pretty cool. Oh, look at this bits and pieces. This is like a Christmas image here. I have been wanting to try a bits and pieces puzzle. And I don't know, this might be a really good find. This is taped up as well, so there's just there's a really good chance that we're gonna have all our pieces in here. This is going in the maybe maybe pile. We have another masterpiece puzzles here. This is pretty. This is a panorama jigsaw puzzle. Three feet long. I'm gonna be honest. I love this image. This is taped up pretty well, so I thought we got good chances with this. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. This is a cardinal set. That one looks cool. This box is in great shape. This is Crown Collection. That's a pretty image as well. We have a Kodak, Kodak color puzzle. Got a bunch of buttons here. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, this is an old Thomas Kincaid puzzle. Look at that image though. Look at that house. You know that's my house because I left all the lights on again. We have a Hallmark puzzle here, 1,000 pieces. This is in good shape. And it's in the bag, so that's, that's good. That's promising. We have an old guild puzzle here. That's pretty. We got a Big Ben puzzle here. That's a nice house as well. Ooh, big house. Neuschwanstein. Oh my goodness, look at this Neuschwanstein puzzle. This is a Buffalo Games. 1,000 piece puzzle. Oh, this might be a maybe. I'm, I might take a chance on that one, I don't know. Oh, look at that, Thomas Kincaid. That is gorgeous. We have a Whitman puzzle here. Snowy Mountains. I'm trying to do my best here to keep these all organized. I have a big maybe pile though. I'm gonna have to whittle this down a bit. 500 pieces here. That's pretty. We have some of these masterpieces here, which are in really good condition. Don't get too much. I know, right? Because you can't carry all these. I know. We have a Seiko, Scrabbled States of America, Puzzle and Book Set. This is more like a kitty puzzle. Check out this Rollinsberger puzzle. That's pretty. Wow, and if this is 50 cents, that's a really good deal. And it's in a Ziploc bag, so that's good too. That's a good deal. I'm not feeling the image though. That's all right. Look at these old Milton Bradley ones here. We have the Lord. These are 1,500 pieces. Another one, king size. Wow. You know, if this was a different image, I would totally get this one, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. All right, that's pretty much what we have here. Um, not bad, but this is my maybe pile. And I really need to whittle this down because I am not taking all these home as much as I want to. All right, so I need to. Hey, I have an idea. What? How about you pick two? I want more than two. Okay, so pick five. How about six? No. No? Why not? Because... You can't afford all those puzzles. It might be only three dollars. No, it won't. Mm. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna work on this pile that I have next to me and let's see what I end up with. Now hit that like button if one of the most exciting things to you is finding a good bargain on a puzzle. Because I know I certainly do. And it never hurts to save a few dollars here and there. But I couldn't believe what I found at that thrift store. Because not only did they have a pretty good selection of sets, I couldn't believe the price. 50 cents per puzzle. 50 cents, are you kidding me? 
please let me know down below if you went to a thrift store and the prices were that amazing. Or did I just happen to find the lowest price thrift puzzles ever? And definitely let me know if they've charged even less for them. Because I don't know, I kind of feel like how much cheaper can it be anywhere else? 50 cents? That's not even like going into my budget. I could just go into my piggy bank in the closet and pull out a few quarters and then, you know, that's it, I'm going shopping. I would have never thought in a million years that I would find prices that cheap. And it's not like they all look like Rift Raff or they look like they got run over by a car. A lot of these sets were in great condition. So you know that I took major advantage of the situation. I didn't just buy one, two or three sets. I went a little crazy. I ended up picking up six sets because why not, right? At 50 cents a box, I mean, you'd be crazy not to go crazy. There was a point where I was like, are there any shopping carts here that I can use to carry all these sets? Just, I just couldn't carry any more than what I had. So I, I had to put a stop to it. And I, I honestly, I could have bought a lot more, but I didn't. I had to control myself because I didn't want to look like a crazy person in the thrift store. But anyways, we have to go over what I got. So the first set that I picked up was a puzzle from La, La Vivert, La, La Vivert? I don't know how to say this, but this is actually the same brand as my puzzle table. Now this box doesn't really have any other information aside from the brand name and the piece count. And this is 1000 pieces. And you know, aside from the fantastic condition of the box and the fact that, you know, it was one of the only few boxes that were taped up by the previous owner, which, you know, that's a good sign, right? Like it's very possible that all these pieces are in here. But anyways, Aside from that, I mean, this scenery is amazing. Look at those mountains in the back, in the clouds. I'm pretty sure I have a house somewhere hidden in the mountains somewhere. I don't know, it, it's gotta be somewhere, preferably near the river. But anyways, aside from that, I mean, this is a, a fantastic find for 50 cents. The fact that the previous owner taped it, I am feeling very confident that we may have all the pieces in this box, but we shall see, right? now. For the next puzzle set that I got, I kind of have a sense that it's from the same owner. And the reason why I say that is because the box itself is in fantastic shape and it is taped exactly the same way. There's just a little nick on the box here from like, it looks like something smashed into it, but it's really nothing major. And this puzzle is from the brand Bits and Pieces. And this is great because I have been wanting to pick up a Bits and Pieces set. So, I mean, it's Christmas themed. It's called Christmas Gathering. It's 1000 pieces and it is 20 by 27 inches when it's completed. And you know what? This scenery is fantastic. I love Christmas. I mean, who doesn't love Christmas? It looks like we've been invited to a fun Christmas party. Everyone looks so excited. People are bringing gifts and that little bunny better watch out. You don't know what those dogs are up to. You can tell the other little bunny in the background is a bit suspicious about those dogs. But anyways, this is again, a fantastic image. This looks like a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to trying this brand and I'm feeling pretty confident that all the pieces are in here. So again, we shall see, right? Now for our next puzzle, I know I keep saying 50 cents, but you know, I'm still in disbelief by it. So I, I keep saying it to kind of, you know, remind myself of the amazing amazing deals that I picked up. But anyways, the next puzzle that I got is a super bargain because it is a 2000 piece set. And this one is a Buffalo puzzle. It is called Sweet Shop and it is 38.5 by 26.5 inches when it's completed. Now I actually had to think quite hard about this one. And no, it wasn't because one of the sides of the box is a bit torn, but you know, that looks like it could have just happened at the thrift store. Um, the reason why I was a little hesitant about this was because it was not taped together. It did come with the poster in it and the pieces were all loose inside. Does this mean that there are definitely pieces missing? Um, maybe. But I will say it again, for 50 cents, 
that's not really a huge loss. Will it be frustrating if after spending hours and hours trying to put this together that, you know, I end up finding out that it is missing a piece or two or many? Absolutely. The only thing I'll be, you know, losing is my time, you know, to try to get my puzzle completion satisfaction. Yeah, I do wish the previous owner, you know, taped the box together or, you know, at least put the pieces in like a Ziploc bag or something. But, you know, for the price, I mean, I thought it would have been, I thought it would have been kind of silly to pass up something like this. Because, I mean, it is a beautiful image. Who doesn't love candy? This store looks amazing. This is probably my candy shop. We got all kinds of stuff here. This looks like so much fun. Except I don't know about that dog. I don't have a dog, so I don't know. I don't even know why he's there. Maybe someone left the door open by accident and he just snuck in looking for a nice cozy spot to take a nap in. I guess I'll leave him there for a little while. But if he starts eating any of these candies, he's out the door. Now for the next puzzle, I was super excited because not only was it, you know, another Buffalo Games puzzle, which, you know, I absolutely loved during my first experience, but the image is of a place that I cannot wait to visit one day. And this one is of Neuschwanstein Castle. You remember this castle, right? You know that's my house. But anyways, it's 1,000 pieces and it is 38.5 by 26.5 inches when it's completed. Now these pieces are oversized. Now really the box itself is in pretty good condition. But my concern was, and again, I, I was a bit hesitant with this one like I was with the Sweet Shop puzzle. Um, because it's it wasn't taped together and the pieces are, they're all loose inside. Oh wow, these are nice big pieces. So here we have another possible case of missing pieces, which again, for 50 cents, I mean, you still can't go wrong. But the pieces themselves look to be in very good shape. I don't see any damaged ones so far. I'm only just skimming the top here and whatever I can, you know, lay my eyes on. But overall, these, these look to be in great condition. So I feel like the previous owner, you know, they cared about this puzzle. Um, you have the poster as well, which is great. But again, it would have been nice if it was actually taped together. Now, the next puzzle that I got is a little bit on the older side. And this one is from Seiko. It is actually an image from Thomas Kincaid, who you know is one of my favorite painters. And this one is called A New Day Dawning. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 27 by 20 inches when it's completed. Now, the reason why I say this is a much older puzzle is because, you know, not only can you tell from the condition of the box itself, but this is actually a Siegel puzzle that was made in 1997. Now, when I first saw that year, I was like, oh, that's not that old. But then I realized, well, that's over 20 years ago. So yeah, that's pretty darn old. Kind of made me feel old too. But anyways, I absolutely adore this image. And of course, you know, this is one of my houses because, you know, I left all the lights on again. I just woke up and I'm planning to, you know, make a nice cup of coffee and sit out on the rocks in front of the water. Hopefully I don't get too wet from all the waves and the splashing. And after I dry myself up a bit, I'll just go take a walk down my little garden back there. This is so beautiful. I love how secluded this house is. This is absolutely peaceful. Now, as I said before, the box is not in the greatest state. It wasn't sealed with tape and all the pieces are loose inside. Hopefully we have everything here. If not, you know, no big financial loss to me. You know, just my time will have been wasted, but you know, what can you do, right? Overall, the pieces look to be in pretty good shape. And one thing that I would like to start doing, um, especially now that I have this thrift store that, you know, has absolute bargains, is try to really find older, versions of certain puzzle brands. So I kind of feel like I have, well, this is my oldest Seiko puzzle that I now own. And what I want to do is do a comparison. I want to complete an old Seiko puzzle and compare that experience and in terms of quality and, and whatnot, compare it to a current Seiko puzzle that has been produced recently. 
And I'm pretty sure there's much older puzzles from Seiko and tons of other brands because a lot of these companies have been around for a very long time. But, you know, I kind of want to, you know, start getting older ones and comparing them to more recently produced ones. And the last puzzle that I picked up from my bargain heaven is a puzzle from Bits and Pieces again. And this one is called Season of Change. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 20 inches by 27 inches when it's completed. And apparently this one glows in the dark as well. It'll probably look really nice if you have it framed on your wall. I feel like if I was from this time period that is depicted in this image, that would most likely be my house. I love that style of house. What is that, a Victorian? I love that stuff. And you can tell my neighbors are picking up my bad habits because look, they got their lights on too back there. Everyone's got their lights on. I don't feel too bad about it. But man, my house is gorgeous. And look, there's me and my husband getting ready to go out for a date. Probably just take a nice little stroll around town and maybe hit up one of the local restaurants. Now, like the Seiko puzzle that I just showed you, which was from 1997, this bits and pieces set is from 2001. So this is this is 22 years old, which, you know, that's that's getting on. And honestly, with it being over 20 years old, the box itself is in pretty good shape. My only concern is, again, it's not sealed and none of the pieces were back. It, it's all loose in here. So, you know, again, there's quite a big chance that we're missing pieces in this set. But, you know, I can't argue with the price. And like the Seiko puzzle, I really do want to compare this set with a newer bits and pieces puzzle and see what the quality differences are. Because I hear a lot of you mention in the comments that, oh, this particular puzzle brand used to be a lot better quality wise in the past. And, you know, over time, you know, the quality starts slacking, which again, I don't understand why puzzle companies do that. You would think that with all the competition nowadays that they would you know, keep up to par or improve what they already have. But I guess that's just not the case with a lot of these companies. So I'd be very curious to see what they were like then and what they're like now. I think those will make for interesting videos. But anyways, from this bargain puzzle shop, I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six. Six puzzle sets all for three dollars and if i cannot afford to spend three dollars on puzzles well then i obviously have way bigger problems than you think but anyways guys that's my bargain haul for the day like this is it this is my go-to thrift store now i don't know when i'm gonna go back i'm gonna have to go back soon and hope that they've stocked up a whole bunch more because i mean i have tons of quarters laying around the house I could probably go with a handful of them and just buy out the entire stock. I don't know. I probably shouldn't do that because I wouldn't have the space for it. But I mean, it, you know, it's possible. I can just go crazy one day and just buy everything out. Now, again, if any of you have found a thrift store that charge crazy prices like this, or I mean, I don't know, could they get any better than that? Probably not. But let me know down below what your local thrift stores charge for puzzle sets. And let me know as well, what amazing finds did you get? It's been quite a long time since I bought this many puzzles in one shop. And honestly, I just couldn't wait to share it with you. Well guys, I need to find a home for all these sets. So hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.